Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, Bryce Young, tough L versus the Colts. Some really tough interceptions, some tough scheme as well. We're going to try to make sense of it. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. <laughs> Before we dive into the video, a quick reminder about the Quarterback School Patreon community. This group is the foundation, the bedrock of this channel. Not only is it a great, cheap way to support the channel, but you get even more Quarterback School content. So if you're wondering where the CJ Stroud video is this week, where the Tua video is this week, where probably the Burrow video is this week, they're over at the Quarterback School Patreon community or will be soon. Hop over there, join, become a member. I certainly appreciate your support. As for this video, Let's get into it. Bryce Young, tough L, 27 to 13. First third down here. Now, I'm going to do my best to try to keep this as positive as we can over the course of this video. I can already guess it's going to be tough. What you don't want, if you're Carolina, in my opinion, is Bryce Young having collisions like this. Now, on third down, he's going to have to go get it himself a number of times in this game. That's a big boy collision right there. Where do you want the ball to go? Okay. Top of the drop right there. Okay. At the end of the day, what they're running here to me is essentially stop spacing. <laughs> it, it really doesn't matter what you call it. And I'm trying not to laugh here. Stop route. We'll call this a sit. We'll call this a switch hitch. I think he runs stop route out there too. And I get it. Amen. This is my channel. You're going to have to deal with my issues. I don't love static routes. Static route to me is where you run and stop. 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 That can work versus old school traditional spot drop zone. Versus any kind of man match stuff. It's going to be really hard to win at the top of these things. Because you're going to have somebody running with you with your hip. They're running and you're running and then you stop and they're right there. So maybe you could win here on the perimeter on these stop routes. Certainly stop people think, and I, I'm a believer too, that you can win on stop routes. But you have to create separation on the outside. These routes over the ball though, those are nothing routes versus man-to-man. -man. So just philosophically, it. Not only do you not have guys who can separate personnel-wise, you're not giving them a chance to separate. Where do you want the ball to go? My mistake, the number one up top ran a quick out. Bryce Young is already running right there. No one's turned around. Everyone is so slow. He's already running right there. He's running, and no one is ready for the ball. Now, maybe you could anticipate that quick out up top or anticipate the, the stop down here to the bottom. He's already running, 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 and now the stop finally opens up 17 down here to the bottom. <laughs> I just, come on, man. Give us some movement. Give us some runaway opportunities. We got to stay on the run. N none of that's going to work. And then on top of it, your little quarterback is taking a big hit. Rough, rough third down, punt. Next one here, probably my least favorite play in football, Hank. They dress it up with a little short motion. That'll change everything. <laughs> Sit over the ball to a flat curl. Now we end up throwing a flat. And my thing about this is if Bryce Young loves this play, great, let's do it. I'm, I'm knock yourself out. But there are 8 billion different ways to get a flat. We can drop back and throw a flat damn near every play. Why are we doing this? Like, ask, ask ourselves why. We're going to short motion this, and then we're going to run a spray hook. Now, the whole Hank itself, sit over the ball, hook, flat curl, flat curl. That's the play. And it's almost always read one here to wherever squeezes that. Then you want to work the flat curl to that side. And it's two to three. Now, Bryce Young does a great job just getting it to the flat because it's open, but the sit's not open. Static route, uh, hook not open, hook not open, static route, static route. I mean, look at this linebacker right here just sitting on the sit, the sweet irony. 
Let's play, man. There are 8 billion different things you could do that are better than this. And again, you get a completion. So if you're look, searching for completions, knock yourself out. You got it flat. But look at the sit over the ball. The linebacker's just waiting for him. He's matching to him right there. Boom, not there. Any hook open? The hook down here to the bottom, he is not even close to turning around. The ball's already in the running back's hands. Look, the ball's in the hands. The wide receiver 15 just turns around. So slow. So, I mean, it's just... And then I guess you dress it up with this little short motion. Maybe if you're running out of this same type of look, I don't know. I'm not sure why a spray hook would be better. None of it's good. Next one here, third and nine. I know my keep pounding peeps get all sensey in these videos, but where the hell do you want the ball to go here on this third and nine? He's almost going to throw a back shoulder here. It'd probably be a pick six. We end up getting a completion because Bryce Young is a magician. Now the completion is for essentially nothing and a punt. But watch Bryce Young here get hit in the face. 99 takes this game over. That guy's a monster. Boom. I mean, <laughs> how's he going to survive? He's so little. He's so little. Boom, boom. Keeps his feet. Makes a play. Awesome job, Bryce Young. Now, where do you want the ball to go at the top of the drop? This is one of my favorite games to play. This is like a Carolina specialty this year. Boom. That's the back of the drop. He's trying to throw. He's thinking about. I'm Again, I'm. Mind reading him right here. He's thinking about throwing a back shoulder right here. This corner is jamming us and looking right back at the quarterback. That thing's a pick. So that's a no. Okay. I'll let this thing keep playing. Your boy, not open. Not open. Not a first down. Looking, he's he's obviously looking down here. I just we gotta have. <laughs> somebody who can win on the perimeter and or we got to move our guys around so they have a chance to win so one right there no, nothing's there or nothing bryce young is getting hit in the head boom he's already down look where do you want the ball to go man <laughs> it's impossible to play quarterback like that cannot play quarterback cannot be successful like that now sure it would be great if we could hold up a little better at left tackle, maybe give us a, a chip, 30. So whatever the hell 30 is doing here, instead of running into our left tackle, maybe we chip that guy who goes and hits the quarterback. But again, we're not in their pass protection meeting. We don't know what the hell their plan is. I can tell you that if I was coaching running backs or I had anything to do with this offense, I would be pissed at 30. And I would definitely be pissed at 30 if I was 79. That ain't it. Boom, boom, boom. Pow, pow. Check down. Punt team. Next one here. Seven minutes, 30 seconds into the first quarter. We are going to run Hank again out of the same <laughs> formation. Movement. Short motion. Just to the right this time. Hank. Sit. Hook. Flat. The flat was there again. I guess he didn't like the flats as much as he did the last time. This play is not good enough to be run like this, y'all. It's just not. I mean, and the, the thing about it is maybe they maybe they read it differently. Who's to say that I'm the only person that knows how to read Hank from 20 years ago? <laughs> but he's off of this pretty quick. Here's your spray hook, whatever. Here's that flat where he threw it the last time. Well, the flat's open again. I mean, the the, the exact way that he played it last time. I think he's, he's off of this fast if you're playing it old school ways where it's one to two to three. But again, last time he just raised up and kind of came out here to the flat. So not only does the play suck, but we seem to not read it, at least like we read it back in the day. I don't think there's a right answer to this question. It's all bad. Again, you think there's separation at the top of this route? You think that corner up top is scared that 15 is going to run by him? <laughs> think anybody's scared of speed down here to the bottom? I mean, come on. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that they called Hank twice in the same first quarter of a game in 2023 NFL from the same motion. I, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Next one here, third and 10. If you like static routes, Carolina is the offense for you. Run up, turn around at the sticks. 
Don't worry that the quarterback is on the ground by the time you get to the top of your route. That doesn't matter. I'm sure we're fast enough. Again, I've said many times this, on this channel this fall, there has never been a worse time to be a center in the NFL. Watch the center. Good luck. One-on-one, 99. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to play quarterback like this? Look at these routes. I mean, I can feel it, man. The wheels are coming off. Stop. Hook. Hook over the ball. Stop. Where, where do you want the ball to go? I'll, I'm going to pause it at the top, and you can guess where he is. He's in the fetal position on the ground. But where would you want the ball to go if we had all the time in the world? Maybe the number two down here, I guess, to the bottom. It really shouldn't be there. It's just bad coverage by this nickel down here. He's just giving more cushion than anybody else. Everybody else is blanketed. <laughs> Three out of four blankets. 15, maybe, you know, 15 is where the ball has the most space. But again, when 19, when your boy turns right there, Bryce Young is already in the grasp. The number two down here to the bottom hasn't turned yet. He turns right there. We're on the ground. You guys, you cannot play quarterback like this. You cannot function at any level of football like that. It's impossible. I mean, the only good thing from this play is all four out of the five offensive linemen trying to pick him up. Yeah, I'll help you out. Here. I think that's my bad, dog. How about... I mean, <laughs> what, three out of the five rushers is going to get home here? Just got no chance. Just swallowed up. Next one here, brutal sack. We're going to call this double post down here to the bottom. A little play action. I mean, just absolutely demolished by three players. This looks like, like a high school game where you're playing like three levels above where you should be playing. This is just overwhelming at the line of scrimmage. I mean, right? Look at that. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, man. That sucks. But when you look down the field, where do you want the ball to go? I mean, really. The, the film is the film here, y'all. We're coming across here on what I'll call a cross or a post. This is like a nod, big boy post. The guy who's guarding 19 here is not running full speed. He's cruising in his hip. He's going to undercut the hell out of that throw if you throw it. This throw down the field is taking forever to get open. Forever. There's just, it, I, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. None of it makes sense to me. Where do you want the ball to go? I, I just, I mean, I feel bad, man. Look, look at the rush. Then look at the coverage. This is the NFL. I mean, I, I'm not going to, I'm going to try to wait till the end, but I just hope nine survives this season because this is, this is going to be tough to make it through. I don't really even understand how they get this many rushers on him right here like that. We've got multiple double teams, right? Got two double teams on each side. The guy who's getting double teamed ends up, the guy who's getting double teamed by the center and the right guard ends up getting the sack? It just doesn't make sense to me. I, I, oh my God. One of the few bright spots of this offense is Bryce Young and his ability to get vertical and go get first downs with his feet. No, it didn't happen on the first one that I showed, but right here makes a move, doesn't get hit hard, gets a first down. Because there's nowhere to go with the ball. Again, this continues to be a theme. There's nowhere to go with this ball. Nice little move right there. Great effort from 99 as well. Chasing him down from behind. I'll pause it at the top of the drop, y'all. You know the game. Where? N no one's coming open. 15, not running, not looking. 88, not there. Your boy down here to the bottom running a choice. Watch when he looks for the ball. He's looking right there. Bryce Young is already running. He's already, he's, he's running. 
<laughs> I mean, it, it takes way too long. There's just no way you can... You, you, everything has to be faster. Again, the guy who's guarding 19 down here to the bottom, he is not threatened vertically at all. Oh, my God. Nice job from nine here. I really like the move that he puts on. Again, this is not a world that I necessarily think he wants to live in or I'd want him to live in, but he can do this. Watch this subtle little move. Look at him even lean a little bit with his eyes. Look at him. Look to the right. Huh? Boom. At least my guy 63 dumped somebody here. Oh, he slips. Boom. Nice move. Next one here. We're in a two-minute situation. End of the second quarter. We're going to throw a slot out down here to the bottom. Anticipation, accuracy, outside the numbers. Beautiful throw up on his face. Really nice job again. In my mind, there's no question that Nine can throw and play in this league. There really isn't. I think he, far from perfect this game, we'll talk about the pick sixes, but this type of stuff, this is not an easy, an easy read. You're reading the corner down here to the bottom, number 39. He's got to get depth, and then we're reading throwing that out to the slot. Got to get the ball up and down, push it outside the numbers. Ball's right up on his face. Quick throw, quick release, nice weighted throw into the boundary. Read rhythm to it. Boom. Precise. Excellent. Next one here, pick six right before the end of the first half. This is a brutal one. I think the oversimplification here is we just get a little lazy throwing the check down, but it's the pressure kind of makes us get off what we're trying to do on the front side. And again, what we're trying to do on the front side is just taking too long. But Bryce Young can't do this. You can't just blindly flip this out there like there's not going to be anybody there. Again, those guys are matching. You can see the 23. He's matching to the back. He's right there in his hip. Ball's inside, and then it's a wrap. Just a tough, tough, brutal. Really, the game is over at this point. That's the reality of it. They never get close enough to get this thing back. But waiting up top for this thing to happen, by the time he's waiting, he looks like he's waiting for 19 to come out of this break. He's got pressure in him. You know, there's nowhere to go with the ball. The flat defender's outside of him. We just can't do that. We can't be that kind of careless with these checkdowns, blind chucks. That, that's essentially a blind checkdown. And it's a nice play from 23, nice finish. Just a brutal, brutal way to end a half. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications. I really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to me, so thank you for doing that. Again, the Quarterback School Patreon community, you know about it. Join, become a member, get even more Quarterback School content. We also have quarterback school courses. The courses are the premium content available through the channel. If you enjoy the way that I talk and teach ball, you will love the courses. They are deep dives on my favorite football topics, RPOs, tempos, uh, pass protection, how to beat every coverage. We even have an entire offensive system available for you. So if any of those topics are down your alley or you're wondering how to install, coach, teach, better understand any of those things, you will love the quarterback school courses. We also have a bunch of free resources available. Check out those free resources linked in the video description as well. Finally, make sure to follow me across social media platforms. I appreciate your support. As for this video, let's get back to it. Next one here, fourth and two. Probably one of my favorite throws of the game from Bryce Young. We're going to run what I'm used to calling spot bow or spot basic. You're going to read 45, the linebacker on our right here from behind. And we're going to throw this in with great anticipation. So it's not the hardest read in the world, but the way he plays it with anticipation, I think this is Bryce Young at his best. So for me, this little play is here's the spot or the snag. So boom, right there. Here's that basic or bow. And then it's almost always paired with a flat. And so what you want to do here, normally this play is run with a corner right here. But when the linebacker, middle linebacker type, is pushing out to the spot, instead of a corner, you want to run an in so that once he pushes out to the spot, you essentially replace him right behind him with this in route. And so you're just kind of reading this guy. He gets with, you wrap it right around his ear. Really nice job from the end zone behind the offense camera to be able to see how quickly he does it. Look at the anticipation. He's separated right there, right? That's playing with anticipation. Precise ball location right up on his face. Protect him from the safety. Outstanding job. 
So from the back, you were reading 45. He matches to the spot. Boom. That quick. And that, that this is what I love about Bryce Young's game. And I want to make sure that I really do continue to kind of highlight the bright spots because this is a bright spot. Not everyone in the league can do this. Play with anticipation. Vision. Look at 45 go. Put the ball right where you want. Quick release. Accurate. Precise. First down on fourth down. Next one here. Tough miss. For me, this should be a touchdown. 19, number three up top, running what I'm going to call a deep hook. He's trying to push off, complaining like he got grabbed when he was the one doing the pushing as well. Good no call probably with both of them hands on. But for me, this is a, a combination of a few things. First, when people get all sensey about this cat, no one says he can't catch the ball. What I say is that he's not fast enough to be anywhere close to an NFL one. So the it's not that not only is the route slow here, like it takes forever and there's no uh, separation at the top, but this guy's not threatened by him. So normally in this kind of split field coverage, these middle linebackers are terrified of you coming in here and trying to pipe them and make this like a high back five throw. But this guy's not scared of the of the speed of 19. So he's just sitting here. Like he's squatting. And so when he comes up here and he just kind of like blahs in there and then tries to push off, the ball's already on the ground. It's taking too long. The The lack of, of speed on this perimeter is one of the biggest issues. It just makes everything hard. So he's trying to play that with anticipation. The ball's out of his hands, right? 19's not looking yet. Not looking. Like, yeah, you could definitely complain that there's contact. But that defender is entitled to his space. He doesn't have to move. 19 tries to run in and push him off. It just takes too long. It's too slow. It's too slow. Hands out. My hands are out watching this. It's too slow. You can see the space there. You can see it. Too slow. Next one here, third and five, touchdown pass. This is just Bryce Young making a touchdown out of nothing. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Get it to the check down out wide. Again, just a little bit of a magician here creating out of structure. So wherever this ball's supposed to go, no one's open. So left, no, got to go. This is what he does. It's that kind of like in-between transition football where he's he's separating, he's getting out of the pocket, he's off platform, but he still makes a play. He's still got the vision. He's still got the off-platform throw. Flip it out there from pylon touchdown. So it's just a, a really nice job of Bryce Young still being able to kind of do what he does, which is create, be a playmaker, go, stay alive, get the ball out, good accurate throw, touchdown. Next one here, third and 12, nice completion up top to the point on the bunch, running a corner. Looks like they get a little miscommunication on defense. Nice job from Bryce Young hooking up a third and forever. It's a very big chunk play. Again, great vision. Nice job seeing the coverage kind of break down, somebody pop. Beautiful throw, again, accurate, weighted perfectly, great trajectory, big chunk. And again, you know, they're just trying to essentially banjo this thing, which is a, essentially, which is an offensive way to say these two for these two. So when we run up right here, someone's got to run with him. Nobody runs with him. The number three ends up running like a little option or pivot right there. These two both get sucked down and let that kind of corner pop open. So just a great job from Bryce seeing it. No good options usually versus third and 12. Certainly a good option when they have that kind of breakdown in coverage. Big chunk. Again, I really love the fact that they continue to allow him to spin it a little bit. I would love them if they had the capacity to push it vertically. Again, I'm not sure 81 is the vertical threat that we're looking for, but it works right here. Next one here. Brutal pick six. This is certainly on Bryce Young. This is supposed to be a screen, play action screen. The easiest way I understand this and the way that I think it's most universal or applied across any football offense is that on any screen type throw, that's not a perimeter throw, like so a backfield screen to the back, it's on the quarterback to navigate this throw. He can't let it get tipped. He certainly can't let it get picked. You can't get cute here with your arm angle and then kind of throw a fastball that 
the back has no chance of ever catching. So this is supposed to be a play action fake and then the back's going to leak out to the left for a little slow screen. Now, it's not the easiest throw in the world because we're taking an L interior wise. But he tries to get cute with the throw and Sky mails it. And that's a gift of an interception and a really nice job of finishing that thing. But man, I mean, have yourself a day 23. I think it could be cleaner, maybe, if we were, you know, a little bit better about how we're handling what's going on at left tackle in the back. It sure looks like there's a miscommunication as far as what place you want to exit. I think normally you'd want to, what I'm used to calling this, is a slingshot technique by the tackle. So you want to short set, invite the rush up the field. So invite this guy wide, short set, and then as he gets by him, let him run by you. Put your right hand, your inside hand on his back and slingshot him past. And I would imagine, if I had to guess a lot of money, I would say the back's supposed to be faking this thing and then exiting out the B gap. So right to me, he he comes out and he tries to go out the C gap and they get a little muddy, a little traffic jam. Again, that's not an excuse for Bryce Young. That's just me describing what the film looks like happens. At the end of the day, if it's blurry, you just skunk it at the guy's feet. Cannot overthrow screens like that, especially hard. Just a really weird, bizarre decision. Just not good enough football from Bryce Young at any level. I don't think he was helped with the execution up front, but that's no excuse. Can't have that. Next one here. I mean, I don't know really what to do with 19 here up top. They ask him to block. He ends up falling over the tight end's legs, ends up getting our quarterback smoked. Luckily, we get a check down here. I just, I, I just feel like this can't be what we want to be offensively. I just, again, you watch 19 on the right. I'm not familiar with this formation where you would be that tight with your inside foot back to start. I'm definitely not familiar with this technique where you're just going to fall backwards, trip, have your hand on somebody not looking, and then this trip right here into your own guy. You guys, this is not me being a jerk. This is just me showing you the film. There's not this is not happening for other teams, for other wide receivers, for other number ones in the league. <laughs> Sorry. Just not, man. It's not safe for nine. It's not safe. He's chucking ducking on checkdowns because our number one wide receiver is falling over our tight end's feet in pass protection on play action because we got to keep him in because the fast guys need to run down the field. Nowhere to go with the ball. Maybe Bryce Young could get it to the check down quicker. Maybe the wide receiver shouldn't be blocking at all on the edge. Definitely shouldn't be falling into the feet of the tight end. I mean, that's... <laughs> uh, man, I, feel, I honestly, I, I just want nine to survive this. That's a tough look. Tough. Next one here, fourth and six. Again, the best play in the offense for them right now. Bryce Young, just go get it yourself. No, no. Nice little scramble. First down, protect yourself. Next time, just slide. Especially in this kind of situation. But again, he's got the capacity to do this. It's one of those things where we just need guys to keep playing and keep getting open so we can get the big chunks off this versus him running. Now, at the top of the drop, where do you want the ball to go? Our favorite game. Okay. He's at the top of his drop. Bad snap. Top of the drop right there. Static routes down here to the bottom. It's fourth and six. Static routes to the bottom. Are they open? <laughs> what about up top, the number one? He's running a static route. Is he open? Nope. Your boy running down the middle of the field? Nope. Maybe the number two on that in the guy who's on the top hash, if you could anticipate throw it, but we know what happens on those with this offense. He's got to go. It's a great run. There's just nobody open, man. That That's just the cold, hard truth of this film. You can say whatever you want. You can be all sensey about in your feelings about 19. You can do all of that stuff, but you can't turn on the film and tell me that there are guys open because there are not. And it is hard to play quarterback like that. There's just nowhere to go with the ball consistently. 
right here he does a nice job again of finding that slot out one of the few things that was working all day you can, <laughs> it's not seven on seven man how about the right tackle getting walked into your chest boom can't get through the throw beautiful strike again same concept we showed earlier as far as that boundary slot out throw with anticipation yep again you're reading that corner up top the defender corner he's looking at the number one throw that thing with anticipation they try to switch it off the timing of it beats 39 really nice job from bryce young here with someone right in your lap next one here some more static routes for you down here to the bottom we're going to throw the stop now this stop is so slow that the corner is actually stopping before the stop runner okay now the, the other thing that I, I don't think i've probably done a good enough job mentioning up until this point is just because you don't have the fastest guys in the world you still can find ways to take vertical shots so you in my opinion, you have to run, throw, and call vertical opportunities down the field just to keep people off of you. Because this route right here, and I'll draw up just this one. Everyone runs damn near the same route. This stop route, so sell a vertical, and then you're coming right back down your stem. This corner is not threatened by speed at all. So he's kind of shuffling, looking back at the, the quarterback the whole time. Bryce Young is playing with anticipation. So he takes his drop. He's about to throw this thing with anticipation. The only person, anticipation doesn't work if the corner <laughs> is looking at you and is able to stop his feet and drive the stop route before the guy running the stop because he's not afraid of any speed anywhere here. So let me say that again. The corner is not afraid of the speed, so he's just chilling, looking at the quarterback. Quarterback stops his feet. To throw it, corner stops his feet to throw it. Corner is breaking on the stop route before the stop runner. Can't happen, man. This, this cannot happen. Look at the anticipation. He's throwing it right there. Boom, perfect anticipation. How about the corner, number 40? Watch him hit his, back, hit his left foot right there. His left foot is in the ground driving back. The wide receiver is not driving back yet. In fact, I would argue that that's not the greatest route in the world because 17 turns his indicator right there his head before he comes out of the route so sloppy at the top of the route as well it's a nice play from 40 it's a nice play from 40. anybody else open lol i mean <laughs> i can't handle these stop routes man i can't handle all these running and turning around we gotta have better stuff we gotta have better combinations we gotta keep people on the move We've got to th have things happen faster. We've got to take shots down the field. Last one here, another interception. This is three by one, four verts. I think this throw is just not a good throw, if I'm being honest. You know, I wouldn't be mad if it get, went down to the check down. I think if you see a too high shell, throwing a check down is not a, the end of the world in four verticals. I think this throw is just underthrown. So for me here, the, what I'm used to calling the special part of this. So go route go route the number two is running a seam and then when you're in three by one i'm used to calling this a special so he's trying to essentially get to the seam area over here first middle of the field open he's taking the middle of the field so split field coverage this linebacker i almost always say if he's going to turn and run he's only covering the width of his shoulders well if he turns around and the ball is underthrown, so severely underthrown as opposed to down the field yeah he can make a play on the ball He's in the NFL. He can for sure make a play on the ball. He knows exactly what you're trying to do to him too in split field coverage. So right there, he's got his back turned. We throw it when his back is turned. Right? We just need to throw it down the field. We can't throw it sh that shallow. Can't throw a back shoulder there. And if we are trying to throw a back shoulder, it's not in the right spot either. It's too far inside. So just everything that could go wrong is going wrong here. You combine that with all sorts of the structural, systematic, potential probably failures or least favorite parts for me. But you can see here, when he throws it, you can see 50, top left corner. Bryce Young is throwing it. We're getting spider cam. 50's got his back turned. That's the look we're looking for. You still have to throw it in a spot where that we can catch it. And again, he, those guys can turn around. 
right here. He turns around. He makes a nice play. I still think the ball's underthrown, but that's just the way it went all day. So that is a wrap. Bryce Young, the Panthers, tough performance. You're almost never going to win with two pick sixes. That's the first part of it. The other turnover, certainly not the type of throw that Bryce Young would want down the middle of the field there. Okay, that's the first part and probably the biggest part. Obviously, can't do that. Thank you, Captain. The next part, and the part that is probably more frustrating for me, just because I'm a big believer in Bryce Young, I don't think interceptions like that are going to happen week in and week out, so I expect that to be fixed. But the part that's going to be harder to fix is the combination of the personnel deficiencies, both, both up front with the offensive line, the pass protection unit, and the perimeter. The perimeter is simply not fast enough. There is no separation ever, ever. I actually thought they did a pretty good job running the ball in this game. I'm not going to put the run plays in a quarterback evaluation film, but I thought they ran the ball better. Pass protection, an issue. Separation on the perimeter, an issue. There's just nowhere to go at the top of the drop the damn near every single pass play. That part of it is tough. You tether that to what I'm going to classify as the nice way to put it, old scheme. So we're running Hank. We're running all Everybody run up to the sticks and turn around. The game has just improved so much with being able to marry concepts together that are better versus multiple coverages. So having multiple runaways, having choice routes with faster guys, using motion and stack formations to create leverage opportunities. Not just, hey, we're going to run Hank. Let's run Hank again. We're going to run stop spacing. We're going to run stop some more. We're going to run deep hooks. There's just no one's winning. They're not scared of any of the vertical threat. And we're not throwing the ball down the field. All that stuff combined, just a really, really tough day. Hopefully it gets better. I really do hope Bryce Young survives. I think that there's going to be some issues here as far as attrition with if this pass pro stays the same with what they're asking him to do, holding on to the ball on some of these shots where they're getting no separation. There's nowhere to go with the ball. There's no quick, easy answers. Hopefully he can survive all these hits. We'll see what it looks like as we continue to move through the rest of the season. Thank you so much for hanging to the end. I will see you next time. Have a good one.